So it's uh, kind of early in the morning, but we don't mind today because today we're getting one off the bucket list. Um, so far I've been very lucky, I've done a few things that I've always wanted to do. Those things you want to get in, you know. Um, simple things even, I mean this car I'm driving now, my little Honda, um, I can remember, I don't know, maybe five, six years ago, walking through a car park and seeing one of the Honda Civics, uh, it was probably a Type R, and I just remember just sitting looking at it going, it was, it was probably longer ago than that as well, I remember looking at it and just going, it's really nice, and then I looked inside and I seen the dashboard and the start button and the way it was laid out, and I just thought, one day I'm going to have one of those. And here I am, driving my car that I always wanted. Now, it's not the Type R, but I'm still tempted to buy a Type R as well, by the way. But, uh, we'll see. But I love this car. So that was one of the many things I've done off my bucket list. I've done abseiling. Um, I've been up in a glider. Um, this is all stuff I've done years ago, probably, and, and stuff that... I just didn't have a video, we didn't have this access to YouTube and things like that to be able to film these things, we just took pictures of it all. Um, I'm trying to think what else I've done. Oh, um, my old job. One of the things that I always wanted to do was to do a breakfast show on a radio station, which I was extremely lucky enough to be able to do for uh, four years of breakfast and then another few years on drive time. and. and other wee little bits of pieces. I mean, I worked in radio for over 11 years, and that was one off the bucket list. That was a big one to get, and the hardest to get as well, because it was it was hard work getting there, but whenever it sort of happened and I got my foot in, everything else went into place really quickly. I mean, I started off just doing the weekends and um, in Q Radio in Korea, and I got asked if I wanted to do the breakfast show in their Q Radio uh, 102.9 station, which is in Derry, London Derry. Um, so yeah, obviously I jumped at the chance. So that's another one off the bucket list. Obviously when we were in America, we'd done the helicopter trip. Um, never been up in a helicopter before, something I always wanted to do. So yeah, got that off the old bucket list too. And this one today, this is something, I don't put it, something that I've always wanted to do. Um, yes, I would like to be driving, but I don't mind being the passenger either because I just think the sensation um, is going to be pretty epic. Um, I'm sure I don't have the skills to be able to do what this guy can do, um, but you'll see. Obviously, you don't know it's about driving, so... Fair to say. Oh. Listen to that. I think it's fair to say. I've never done anything like this before. I'm trying to do like two videos here, so I'm doing the vlog and I'm trying to do you know, video shit as well for um, the car. <laughs> She's got coming out now. I've got to get closer to this.
just getting to show you how ridiculously fast these things go. Check out the engine. I don't know. <laughs> Craig's just noticed what's written on the inside of the bonnet. I may have to blur a bit of that. Out. So whilst we're down here as well, actually, as I said, my mate Greg's down here over there, and I use a lot of music by a guy called Joe. You'll see it every now and again. I'll put uh, music by Joe up on the vlogs and. Uh, Joe, say hi Joe. Hello. <laughs> Any more new music coming out? I do. Good. Can I use it? <laughs> Handy to know somebody who's really good at making music. Thanks Joe. <laughs> so um, I met this guy purely because I delivered some of the recent fuel to him. This is Shay. This is How's it going? Shay's car. Um, how did you manage to get into drifting? Um, well, a couple of boys that uh, are on about it, they started buying out BMWs and we were coming down here, you know. Yeah. Um, started off just about a crack and all, and then went on and went all the car for NA Drift Series. And then this car here, the Brazil, done. Where did you find, like, how did you, I'm guessing you're not on Auto Trader looking for these cars. <laughs> no, where, where do you find one of these? Definitely don't get one of these cars out there. <laughs> um, sort of just word of mouth, you know. Uh -huh. The car they got there, you don't really see it advertised, you know. Um, a friend of mine, uh, he'd be very big into the drop scene and I was saying to him, you know, do you have any cars to see? I'll keep up the feeder, feeder out for the car. And uh, trying to see a up, you know, it's so, the best spec car for you know, the money. Um, plus, there's only super drop in Ireland and it, it gets a lot of attention. Um, Definitely with a few the super. Is it imported or is it? Uh, I think originally it is a Jap car, yeah. Jap car, yeah. Um, so we're on the 2G Z uh, engine. Um, we've got a Samsara sequential gearbox. And now we're on the waist fat front and rear. Yeah. Um, leads the car, you know, real, real nice drive. We've got carbon fiber doors, bonnet, good lid, roof. This is what I want to get to you at. The main question is. How much? Do you want to say that on the video? <laughs> because I, obviously you've got to get your sponsors and stuff to help. Ah, uh, that's right, yeah. Um, how many sponsors do you run at the minute? Ah, uh, well, the TV tires, um, with the Westlake tires, they come on board uh, this year, and then just then my own one after that day. Yeah. Um, this, this is actually me coming up to the first year in the plant, the stuff. Um, so, you know, your first year, it's hard to try and get sponsorship, you know, yeah. you still kind of prove yourself and all, but uh, I will hopefully get there, you know, um, it's just trying to get the right connections, you know. What about your first brick you're in this year, when does it start? We're out this again, so that's why we're here now, doing a bit of testing. Um, this morning, we thought we'd change the diff to a higher ratio, uh, but it just didn't work out the best. Uh, we did that diff in before, we had a different gearbox, but now the ratios are different in this gearbox. Yeah. So this diff now, it just wasn't working at all, so we changed it there now. Um, the four one, so hopefully we'll go out here now and it'll be a lot better. Excellent. Get some more nice pictures. We'll get some good more pictures. <laughs> Say thanks for inviting us, time, man. It's no great. Cheers, man. All right. You kind of know this big job on whenever Shay himself actually changes into the overall. What we do here is go back, 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 back.
don't stop to look around once in a while. Wait. About halfway through that, hang on. <laughs> about halfway through that, the camera actually came off the stand. That's how like fast he's going into the corner. Amazing! It's a great experience. Your You've hands, done it. Your hands shaking from the experience. Is it, 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 it shaking? It's probably a wee bit of adrenaline <laughs> going there. <laughs> I won't deny it, but that was amazing. Shay, thank you so much. That's one off the bucket list. That's great. <laughs> crazy um it's hard to describe it um well it's not it's exhilarating it's fast it's amazing whenever you're in the car and the car is going sideways up a straight bit of road and you're looking out the passenger window at everything coming at you um that's just bizarre <laughs> but it's the speed the accuracy the the feel for the car that he must have i've got a lot of respect for him for that um you must be able to sort of just be able to judge when to break, when to turn, uh, when to put your foot down. It's um, an amazing, an amazing sport. If you get a chance, go out and watch these guys. We'll put links below for uh, Shay's Facebook page. Um, he's also on Instagram and everything else. But if you get to his Facebook page, you'll be able to follow everything else as well. And um, he does do little, well, he did do there for uh, one of the guys today. He done a, a little draw to get to sit in the car with him at the practice. I uh, can't remember who won, but they done a live draw and stuff last night, which is a really nice thing to do. He doesn't have to do that sort of thing, but he does, um, which is, again, it's just a nice thing to do, I think. Yeah, and he is a nice fellow to talk to as well. In fact, everybody there, the whole crew, his, um, his family were there as well and um, talked to them all. And they were just absolutely fantastic, down to earth, lovely, lovely people. Great day, Shay. Uh, to you, I say thank you. Thank you so much. Um, one off the bucket list. I'm still smiling ridiculously. Um, I've probably got a, still a little bit of adrenaline running through there, perhaps as well. Um, but yeah, glad I've done that. I can't get rid of the smile.